Right, today I'm going to be covering something that a lot of you will have seen on a lot of bases, loads of stuff on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media stuff, and there's lots of images going around of guys playing bases with something that looks like this. Now, these are made by a company called Groove Gear, formed in the States a good couple of years ago. Now you can find them like here in the UK, loads of guys, Henrik Linder over in Scandinavia, have been using them, they've become a big thing. Now, the main thing I get asked about them is, what are they? What do they do? The main function of these is that they are a fret wrap, is the trademark name. The fundamental role of these fret wraps is to mute the strings in a variety of ways. The usual place that you'll see them is on the end of a headstock right here. Now this looks like it's covering the first fret, but I can show you it's still completely playable. I'm going to be doing loads of examples of this, so it will be uh, through Ableton, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. What you can do with these is you can either have them to kill the overtone of the string. What happens when you play your string is as you pluck the note, you've got your two contact points, which are the nut here and then the bridge saddle where it joins. Now, if you try and imagine that when you pluck this string, the entire length of the string is vibrating your point of contact, say here, 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 wherever. Now, what that does is effectively the whole thing wobbles, and as it zings out, you get this very, very top frequency, which on a recording, or if you're using effects pedals, for example, they're much more tuned to picking up these frequencies. A couple of good examples of when you'd want to use it. So an example one, we're going to use it just to kill the overtone of the string. Now example two, we're going to use this in a much more kind of aggressive way to completely kill off any string in an open position that we're not playing. Example three, I'm actually going to move the usual position here to uh, flip them upside down and actually place them underneath the bridge like a conventional old school foam mute. So I get asked this a lot and people will often say, oh, it's it's no excuse, you should have the technique. So yeah, definitely you should. However, foam mutes have been in use since the late 50s and 60s. So anyone saying, oh, you're not, you're not a proper player if you've got this, it's like, well, okay, so it was good enough for Duck Dunn to have foam, it's good enough for James Jameson to have foam. Do you see what I mean? It's not a cheat. It's not to be viewed as something which is doing work for you. It's still a tool. So a plectrum is still a tool. You're not you're not cheating by by using a pick. And you can have these set so subtly, so they're barely actually muting the sustain of the strings. The whole of the instrument can still ring out. So it's really uh, a tool in, in which you can create different tones with your bass, a recording purpose, stylistic purpose, and then also for using with pedals and tracking where you, you need to have everything completely shut off. I'll put a link to Groove Gear in the description down below. Go check them out. They started out just doing fret wraps, now they have a whole load of awesome bass stuff. There's uh, gig bags, they do straps, they do, they kind of expanded into a load of other stuff. So yeah, go and check that out. Remember, if you want to see more videos like this, obviously let me know in the comments. Please like, share and subscribe. Let me know what kind of thing you guys find helpful.